Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about how friends, family, loved ones can be supportive for the bride-to-be while shopping for her wedding dress. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic, video you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. And also be sure to give us a follow on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. This week's topic was inspired by a subscriber. Kara wrote in asking, Nairi, could you do a video on tips for bridesmaids, friends who are going dress shopping with the bride. It would be helpful to know what to say, how to be supportive when and if she gets frustrated and how to offer advice or how to say if a dress doesn't fit well, is not flattering, etc. Again, thank you for all your content. It's my absolute pleasure and thank you so much for writing in for this week's video topic. I'm really looking forward to covering this topic. I think that this is a phenomenal thing for us to talk about because it can be very frustrating. I do tell brides to pick the their people wisely that they are taking with them. You know that you have a friend as a bride who's really opinionated and you love that individual so much. However, they don't have the same vision for your wedding dress. One, you need to frame and set the stage as the bride of, hey, this is what we're doing. This is how it's going to roll. This is what I'm looking for. I would appreciate it. I know you have opinions. We are not one in the same, right? What I want for my wedding and how you would dress me for my wedding are likely going to be two different things. I want you to come because I want you to be a part of this, but I would love it for you not to talk. So <laughs> there can be that, right? If you are the bride watching this, set the stage for those who you love that you want to be a part of it that you know might bring up some maybe triggering comments or triggering moments or impact your decision where you're not fully mentally focused on what it is that you want. If you are a guest that's going to be shopping with the bride and you are watching this, my suggestion to you is first, before you say anything, allow the bride to talk. Oftentimes we know our people so well and we're like, mm, I know this isn't the one before you even given her a moment to process it. As a bride, when you are in the moment and you're trying these dresses on, it can feel very overwhelming. People often don't consider that the bride often asks their partner before going out for a night out, hey, what do you think of what I'm wearing? And the wedding dress is often something that we want to keep a secret from our partner that we're marrying because we wanna surprise them on wedding day. This becomes really challenging for a bride, right? She's thinking, what is my partner going to love on me? Do I love this? I don't know. I'm not used to wearing wedding dresses. This isn't something I do every day. So there's a level of anxiety that they're feeling. And while you get to sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and just have this be a cool experience for you, guests that are shopping with the bride all have a tendency to just blurt out things immediately because it's fun for them and they're excited about it and they want to share their opinion. They want to show the reason why they're there to be supportive. And if you sit there quietly, maybe that means you're not being supportive. If you are talking all the time and giving opinions and things, even if it's positive, while you're talking, you're not allowing the bride to process information. So instead of giving opinions, my recommendation would be to ask questions, right? So when the bride comes out, you can say, okay, what do you think about this? If you don't love the way something fits, you could ask her, how do you feel about the fit? So maybe don't say your opinion because what you think think and what your opinion is about the fit, maybe that's what she ends up loving about it. Maybe you don't love the fit of an A-line that's not showing off the bride's beautiful shape, but maybe that's what makes her feel like a bride. So I want you to give the opportunity for her to express how she feels as the bride versus what you want her to look like as the bride. Oftentimes we think we're saying the right thing and being really supportive of our friends and family members and loved ones, but sometimes it can 
really sway the decision and maybe it influences what she wants versus her allowing to have that ability to really think clearly, decide what she wants, and having your support. So the main thing I really encourage you to do is to refrain from giving your opinion off the bat and to ask questions based on your opinions. So if we're not loving the fit, you're asking, like I mentioned a moment ago, you are asking, what do you think about the fit? If you don't love the color of it, maybe you're saying, what do you think about this color? And then once she gives her opinion, I'm not saying that you have to agree with everything. Maybe you have a really valid point that the bride hasn't considered yet that is super, super helpful. I just want you to take a step back and not blurt it out right away. You just want to allow her to have a moment to really process what's happening before you start shooting off all the things that you think that I'm sure are going to be very helpful, but you just want to allow that moment to really sink in and settle prior to giving it. Questions are a great way to get to the point without blurting it out and saying it immediately. To address Kara's question about the bride feeling frustrated or maybe upset or angry, oftentimes when we see loved ones that are feeling frustrated, angry, we think the thing that we need to do is to make them feel better. And we rush and we tell them it's okay and that they don't have to feel those things. I encourage you to allow the bride to feel a little bit frustrated. And you're probably thinking, why would you allow her to feel frustrated? Well, she needs to go through that. So instead of saying, no, it's okay, there's no reason for you to be frustrated, open-ended questions again. What part of it is making you frustrated? What is it that I can do to support you here? And sometimes I just tell people like, hey, do you want to be frustrated right now? Like, should I just leave you alone to allow you to have a moment? Because sometimes we just need to release that energy and just let that pass so that we can be open to something new. Oftentimes, sometimes even if we're sharing a story, we don't necessarily want the person's opinion that we're sharing it with. We just want to have a platform to speak and to say it and not really get anything back in return. And other times we are sharing to help solve a problem. So oftentimes when people are sharing things with me or I notice that they're getting frustrated, the first thing I say is, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to work this out? Or do you just want a moment to sit in your emotions? Number one. Number two, do you want to just talk about it without my feedback? Or would you like me to give you feedback? Do you want me to help you solve a problem? Or do you just want to sit in this and just share your problem with me right now? Both things are perfectly fine, right? It just, you need to meet everybody where they are. Oftentimes we are in a completely different mental space than anybody else around us. So if you're there to be supportive and helpful, you need to get on the same level as the bride. In order to be helpful to her, you need to see where she's at and how you can be helpful and where you truly can be supportive. Solving the problem for the person isn't always the best thing because maybe they're not ready to solve the problem yet right? So you need to find that out, gather more information so that you can be the best supportive friend, family member, and just supportive human to your bride. This wasn't part of Kara's question, but I really want to address it because I do think that it is important for friends out there that are being shown photos of dresses that the bride is sending you. Be mindful that when you get a photo, things don't always translate properly in photos. And also in terms of the fit, things don't always fit well because the dresses aren't tailored to the bride. So you definitely want to ask the stylist certain questions as well, not just the bride, because the stylist can maybe help give you a little bit more insight on to whatever it is question wise that you have. But when you receive a photo and the bride is asking you an opinion about something in a photo, just be mindful. There has been a back end and there's a process of elimination that has happened that has gotten the bride to the dress that she's currently in. So I often tell brides, hey, if you're going to ask for people's opinion, they need to be with you every step of the way so that they understand how you got there, so that their opinion has context. If you just send a random photo, the person you're sending it to has no context in which how you landed there and why you're trying that on. So if you are a friend that is receiving photos, be easy and gentle on the feedback. Just because I have had so many brides rule out a dress because somebody said something and really she ended ended up buying something else because of everybody's opinions and then she ends up walking down the aisle in a dress that she doesn't truly love and that's what you want to be the most careful with your opinions is you want the bride to 
pick the dress that she loves and feels the most beautiful and confident in to marry her person in. If she is going based off of people's opinions, she's not mentally thinking clearly for herself and picking the dress that's going to be the best thing for her. And when it comes time for alterations, she is having huge buyer's remorse and she's walking down the aisle in a dress that she doesn't love. I cannot tell you how many times this happens and it's one of the hardest things for me to personally watch and I just want to make sure as a supportive friend that you are giving your bride, you know her best, right? Giving her the mental space to truly process everything and just be as supportive as possible, not by giving your opinion, by asking questions so that you are able to support her and that way you know what areas in which she needs to support and you're not making assumptions based on what you're seeing or what you're thinking on behalf of her. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.